Welcome to Outdoors and Country Living. My name is Leanne. If we haven't met, welcome to our channel. My husband Tom and I have been living a homesteading life since we've been married, going on 26 years now. We have been gardening for the same amount of time. We both grew up in families who lived a homesteading lifestyle. One a little bit more than the other, but we were both raised gardening and preserving our own food. So like I said, my husband, Tom, and I have been living this lifestyle for 26 years. We grow all of our food naturally without any chemicals or sprays. As you can see here, these cabbages were grown in a raised bed and we used some garden netting this year on the, over the bed to keep bugs out. And it seemed to work quite nicely. It is early fall. I'm harvesting these last eight heads of red cabbage and we're going to take them inside in a little bit and make a wonderfully tasty pickled spiced red cabbage slaw that we will be canning for the pantry. Aren't these heads of cabbage just beautiful? I hope you stick around and see how I make this slaw. It's crispy and crunchy right out of the jar. Full of flavor. You're going to be amazed at all of the spices that go into this. get these ready and head inside to the kitchen and get going on this slaw. Come on. Now that we're in the kitchen, I'm just going to start quartering the heads of cabbage. And then we're going to thinly slice the cabbage into about quarter inch width pieces. And we're going to cut the core out. I usually just cut right around it. The recipe for this will be in the description below, so make sure you check out the recipe if you're interested in making this. Once we get all of the cabbage sliced up, we will be salting it. This is a two day process, so make sure you set enough time for that. We're going to be using a non iodized salt, one tablespoon of salt per head of cabbage that you're using. This is pink Himalayan salt. This is primarily what we use here at our house. Once you get the salt added, just start mixing it in, massage that salt in, and coat all of the cabbage that you have in your large bowl. Once we get the salt mixed in, we will be covering this and chilling it for 24 hours and we'll come back to it tomorrow. Now that it's all salted, and yep, I chopped up all eight heads of cabbage that I harvested. I'm just going to cover it and chill it and we'll come back to it tomorrow. See you then. All right, it's the next day and we're just going to drain it. Since I have a lot of cabbage, I'm just going to use my kitchen sink as my colander. We're going to drain off all the liquid that the salt has pulled out. Not that a pretty color? And then we're going to be rinsing this cabbage well under some cold water. Under cold water, just rinse it until it no longer tastes overly salty to you. I just periodically taste a piece here and there as I'm rinsing to see where I'm at as far as 
the saltiness goes. While this is draining, after we rinse it, we're going to make the brine. And oh man, is it full of flavor. In a large stainless pot, I have eight cups of apple cider vinegar. We're adding one cup of sugar. This is 100% pure cane sugar. Half a cup of mustard seed. A fourth cup ground nutmeg. Stir that together. We're also going to add a fourth a cup of celery seed. Wait, we're not done. We're going to make us a spice bag full of some other things. So in my reusable muslin spice bag here, I'm going to add four cinnamon sticks. You could make your own spice bag if you don't have something like this using cheesecloth or something else. So four whole cinnamon sticks. I'm doubling my recipe, so typically it calls for two sticks of cinnamon. All right, also a fourth a cup of whole peppercorns. You could use all black. I'm using a medley. A fourth a cup of whole allspice. And a fourth cup whole cloves. I told you it's going to be good. We're going to place this spice bag in our vinegar brine. Tie your bag onto your pot handle so it doesn't fall all the way in. We're going to heat all of this up to infuse all of those flavors. See, I did double my brine. But make sure you follow the recipe in the description below. While this is simmering, we're going to start packing our jars. These are just clean, room temperature, pint mason jars. We're going to firmly pack in the cabbage. Don't cram it in, but you want to get a, a substantial amount in each jar. But press it in pretty, pretty firmly with your fingers to about a half an inch of headspace. Just like that. Once we get them all packed, then we will be adding some additional things. All right, the brine has been simmering. We're going to remove this spice bag now. And I'm going to set it aside. and then we will take the brine over and fill our jars. I wish you could smell this. It is quite fragrant and very pleasant. Half a teaspoon of calcium chloride to each jar. This is also called pickle crisp or pickle fresh. Add the brine, leaving a half to a quarter inch of headspace. Go slow, otherwise you'll overflow the jars. Because the cabbage is packed in there quite tightly, you don't want to add it too fast or it'll bubble over. Make sure you get some mustard seeds in each jar. 
stir your brine as you're filling your jars to make sure you get all of that good flavor in each jar. Debubble each jar. I'm just using the handle of a big wooden spoon. Just press it down and make sure we have enough brine in each jar. Now that they're all filled in a beautiful magenta color, we're going to clean the jar rims and start putting on the lids. Wipe the rim of each jar using a damp washcloth or paper towel. Apply your lids and bands fingertip tight. These will be processed in a water bath canner for 20 minutes. Now that they're ready for the canner, let's get them in there. All right, add your jars. I added hot water over your jars one to two inches. For the water level, add the lid, turn your burner on high, and bring it to a rolling boil. It's at the rolling boil. Start the timer for 20 minutes. When the 20 minutes of processing time is up, Turn your heat off, remove your lid, and wait 10 minutes before you get your jars out. This prevents siphoning. After waiting 10 minutes, remove your jars onto a towel or a cloth placemat. Let them cool for 12 to 24 hours or until everything is nice and sealed. They've all sealed. I've removed the bands. I've cleaned up the jars if needed. I've got them labeled and they're ready to go to the pantry. But that's how you make pickled spiced red cabbage slaw. Beautiful jars, aren't they? It's gonna be a nice crispy crunchy slaw. Good on top of a burger, on top of any kind of meat really as a side dish, in addition to a different type of salad. Use your imagination, get creative with it. So flavorful and delicious. Thanks for watching, take care.